Hey fellow Samsung consultants, I'm making a quick video of the difference between KISS Air and KISS or KISS Desktop. Um, someone was confused when I post another video. Um, yeah, KISS Air basically allows you to control your device, uh, managing files, adding stuff, as in calendar dates and all that, wirelessly through the same Wi-Fi can network. Um, KISS or KISS Desktop uh, allows you to store, factory set, and back up your phone on your computer, basically files, uh, contacts, and all that. Um, so we'll show you Kiss Air first. Uh, Kiss Air, what you're going to need to do is, for the first time users, is get your smartphone or your Galaxy phone. Uh, go to Kiss Air under All Apps or your App button. You're going to hit Start. Uh, it's gonna say connect to the same network as your phone is. Mine is Netgear 65. And it's gonna say enter a URL into into the web browser. So you pull up your web browser. As always, HTTP. And you're not gonna have to do this all the time. So I mean, you don't have to remember these numbers. So it's going to open up KISS Air, and this is what it is. It shows your device name, my files, photos, all that, videos, music, um, bookmarks, ringtones. Uh, yes, the, one of the main differences is KISS Air, you can change your ringtones, KISS or KISS desktop. You are not able to do that. Um, so yeah, it has your contacts list here. You can see mine's all saved through Gmail. You can do backup through KISS if you like to. Um, has my messages here I sent to my manager. Um, got your call logs, contacts, everything. But I like about this, what I use it for, if I have a lot of dates to add, I can go in here and do it quicker than using my uh, phone itself. Uh, and it will sync to Google Calendar and all that, so it's all interchangeable. But yeah, that's Kiss Air in a nutshell. Um, so once you first initially set it up, you're gonna say create a desktop icon. This icon basically is gonna allow you to connect it, so you don't have to type all these numbers and remember all the time. So I'll show you. Um, every time you do this, once a day, if you do use it, you will have to have your device uh, running Kiss Air and also you have to allow access. It's going to pop up and say allow for today. I have yet to find a feature or settings that will allow you to always connect it like a Wi-Fi. But anyways, after you get this icon, it's going to have it right here. It's going to look like a Java um, Kissera right there. It's going to try to find your device on the same network. There it is. Connect. So that yeah, that's much easier than going through the steps and typing that number. I don't have to remember these numbers or anything. And it pulls it right up. And that is KISS Air. Um, so let's go to KISS Desktop. Okay. KISS Desktop is oh, Samsung KISS. It's right here. has a different icon. A little different. doesn't have the little uh, Air wording underneath it. Alright. So KISS Air will basically allow you to, you can say emergency firmware recovery, firm upgrade, installation, upgrade settings. Um, I don't know if you can wipe your device on this, but uh, this is meant for backing up and all that. Uh, uh, to get it, um, first of all, it's going to ask tell you if you do plug it in without doing this, you're going to need to go to your settings. Under system settings, you're going to have developer options. You need to check off USB debugging. Debugging model launches when USB is connected, so this will work properly. For me, it's yet to work properly. I have no idea what's going on. So we go here, connect it. Right here it says the dev device is connecting. Um, if you have any troubleshooting. All the steps I tried, I have no idea what's wrong with it. I'm gonna go to my store tomorrow and see what my other uh, co-workers say. But yeah, 
like I said, you can back up everything on here. This is where your device has to be USB connected. Um, but those are basically the two difference through these things. I know it's kind of confusing. It's like Samsung All Share, All Share Play, All Share Cast, uh, simplifying and making different names. I wouldn't be surprised if they change Kiss Air or uh, Samsung Kiss itself. But yeah, those are the main differences. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask.